Okay, I've got an appointment with Jeff Bush, the president of OverflowWorks.com. Let's see if I can catch him in his office. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Brian. How you doing? I'm good, man. So I own a mortgage company. I've got about $10,000 to spend on marketing. You're the expert in all this. What should I do? So let's talk about that. Let me show you what I drew up for you really quick. Okay, great. So... I wrote your question on the board here. So you've got $10,000 to spend. You're thinking about direct mail, and we're going to go through a little analogy on what I think we can do return on investment, what we should do as far as product type, uh, mailing, uh, and I'm going to have a few questions for you, which I would have for, for my audience here. Um, so $10,000 $10, advertising budget, if you're going to throw it at direct mail, just to make the math simple, I put in $0.50 cents a piece for a mailer. I mean, yeah, we have a couple guys mailing a million pieces that are down at $0.42 cents a piece, and I got guys mailing 5,000 pieces that are paying $0.72 cents a piece. So big difference in price, but just for math, simplicity, I just put $0.50. Cents. So we've got a budget to mail 20,000 mailers, to spend ten thousand dollars so what I like to go through with my clients is hey what kind of loans do you want to get what loans do you make the most amount of money on um, you know is it is it FHA loans because you're banking those loans and you're making four or five six points on them um, so you want to market FHA because it's your most profitable segment or is it VA because you really are good at VA loans and your your staff is educated and very good at talking to VA borrowers um, you know, is it HARP? Uh, no appraisal, you know, no DTI on Freddie, from what I'm hearing, and unlimited LTV, Fannie Freddie. Do you have that product? Because we might want to look at HARP. You know, reverse mortgage loans. I mean, these guys that, that I'm doing marketing for are making $20,000 a loan for reverse. If you're making twenty grand a loan, we might want to look at that. Or do we want to just do regular old conventional, which is typically a little tougher borrower, a little less revenue per loan. So. Really, I, I talk to my clients about what types of loans do you want? Where do you make your money? Uh, what are you good at? What's your niche? And then we're going to look at what states you're licensed in and decide what's the universe of how many people we can mail uh, based on the state you're licensed in. You might be licensed in one state. Maybe you're licensed in 49, 50 states. So that all kind of comes into the question. But I, I wrote this on the board here to show you, you know, the main marketing we do. One, two, three, four, five different loan types. Um, and, and we're going to look at, you know, what's your average profit or revenue on a $200,000 loan? Are you making two points, uh, three points rather, on an FHA loan? So $200,000 loan, three points, you make six grand a loan. You know, some of my guys are making five points on these FHA VA loans, so that makes a big difference in this whole model. So I really got to get more information about where you're at and what you want to make the proper recommendation. But the true answer might be you might want to do all of this because you do all these loans and you don't care what kind of loans you get, you just want more loans. I want to do an extra 20 loans a month, 40 loans a month. We want to go from 1,000 to 2,000 loans a month. I just had that conversation in Orange County last week with a very large lender. So, you know, just looking at the, at the board here, we've got um, the five loan types. You've got different revenue per loan. Now, these reverse mortgage loans, if you're doing $200,000 loans, I know a lot of guys making 10 points on those loans, some of them 12 points, um, but maybe your average loan amount's only 100,000, so now it's 10 grand. So again, these numbers are gonna change, but we're gonna mail 20,000 pieces. We're gonna show the response rate on each one. FHA, very saturated right now, pretty beat up. Uh, we're getting about a 0.4 response rate, so 80 calls on 20,000. The close ratio is high because there's no appraisal, no income, no FICO. Hopefully you have the availability to do no income, no appraisal, no FICO because you're going to have a higher closing ratio. They're easier loans to get funded. So we're going to fund 10 loans for $10,000 spend on an FHA mailer right now. So you're at 1000 bucks a loan funded. If you make six grand a loan, that's $60,000. So spend 10, make 60000 that's a pretty good return. Six times return. You got to pay a loan officer commission. You got overhead, but hopefully this is all incremental business on top of what you're doing. Um, 
So each one of these is a little separate. We're saying, hey, a VA mailer, we're only going to get about 60 calls. It's a 0.3 response rate, but again, a high close ratio, seven funded loans. You're spending $1,428 to get a loan funded. You're going to make $42,000 on that same $10,000 spend. So if you're a big VA lender, maybe you'll do a little better than this. Maybe your revenue's higher. So all these numbers kind of adjust, and I like to do one-on-one -on -one once I know more about my clients. But uh, we're going to go through, so HARP, you know, HARP, you might only make two and a half points on a loan, um, so five grand a loan. Response, same thing, about a 0.4. Closing ratio drops a little bit. Um, can't explain exactly why. I guess depending if you have unlimited Fannie and Freddie, closing ratio could be a little higher. But they still have to qualify for income. Uh, no appraisal. But it's a little lower closing ratio than, than FHA and VA because of the whole income and FICO score qualification, quite honestly. So you're only going to close eight loans. So you're $1,250 a loan. You're going to make forty grand. Um, if you're a reverse lender, whole different ball game, and I probably shouldn't have averaged that in here because it's so different. But on a twenty thousand piece mailer, we're getting eighty phone calls. You know, you got to sell the whole family, sell the the senior citizen, and sell the kids on both sides of the family that you're not taking their inheritance. So the closing ratio goes way down, and these take a long time to close, ninety days because of counseling they have to go through. So this is a little longer term return on your money and a smaller closing ratio but if you close five loans and you spend two grand in marketing per loan it's a hundred thousand dollars for a ten thousand dollar spend that's probably your best ROI but not everybody has loan officers that can talk to seniors and know enough about reverse mortgage the last one is your regular old conventional mailer we can go after people that have second mortgages adjustable rate first mortgages that are ready to adjust people that are in 10-year interest only loans where they're in their 10th year and that loan, their payment's gonna double. Those people have to refi. So conventional's uh, pretty good right now, but again, lower revenue per loan, uh, a little bit lower calls. We're saying a 0.3, this is all pretty conservative. Do I have mailers getting 1% response? Absolutely, I could show you 10 guys that got a 1% response, but every once in a while we get a 0.2 response. So I'm kind of taking a real conservative average here and not blowing smoke like all the other mail houses and lead guys. Um, 60 calls, you close five loans, you spend two grand a loan, you're only making 20 grand back on a $10,000 mailer. That's probably the, the toughest one um, as far as ROI. But what if we did a blend of all of these things? What if we took your $10,000 and we spent two grand, two grand, two, 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 two and, and blended it? I call it my mutual fund uh, mortgage mailer because you're kind of diversified. Uh, we could take you know, a combination of all this and if we could make you, you know, an average of $52,000 mailing all five of these campaigns, and again, you spent $10,000, so coming over here, average revenue per loan of $8,200, obviously this $20,000 on reverse is definitely having an effect in, in, in skewing your average a little bit, but if you could make $8,200 a loan, and take 72 calls and close seven loans, an average close ratio of 10%, you're looking at 1,500 bucks a loan in marketing costs. You're looking at making $52,000 in profit. So that's kind of my initial impression of if you have 10 grand to spend and you're gonna throw it at direct mail, we're a good company to do it. I've been doing this for 20 years. I know data and I can advise you credit data, not credit data triggers uh, mail pieces. We write all of our own copy. We build all of our own formulas. So we have the best data, the best mail pieces, best response. We're not going to lie to you about your results. We'll give you these ranges and look at what our target is. If you could make, you know, five dollars back for every dollar you spend, it's a pretty good deal. You might continue. We could start off funding seven extra loans a month and we can take this to like some of our large clients that are our biggest client funded a thousand loans last month all off of direct mail top 10 mortgage lender in America. So we could do seven loans a month, 70 loans, 700 loans, 7,000 might be a stretch, but uh, we could probably get two to 3,000 loans a month funded off direct mail. There's people doing that, Quicken's doing it. So uh, give me a call. Uh, phone number's gonna be shown at the end here. Send me an email, let's set up a call and go through uh, this for your company. Thanks.